uh, good morning all again myself assistant professor kushal kumar and kurani from bms department from sangu kana arts commerce and science college so in the previous two videos we saw about uh, one part of logistics and supply chain management that is customer service we started with uh, introduction and then we went to objectives and uh, in the last video we saw about elements of customer service so now we will be seeing what are the rights of customer service now basically there are totally seven rights the first one is right product now this is very important from the customer's point of view a customer is ordering product a and if the company is delivering product b that means there is a gap in the product so here one concept is there which is known as lead time a customer is ordering a product and the product is not delivered on time and a wrong product is delivered again it will have a very wrong impact on the customer service so whatever a customer is ordering the right product should be delivered to the customer at the right time second is right quantity now quantity we know quantity is in numbers if a customer is ordering say 100 units the company should make sure that 100 units are delivered to the customer without any defect without any damage and the packaging should also be done in such a way that during transit that is when the product is moving from the factory to the market from the market to the customer the product is not getting damaged the product is reaching as it is made in the factory in the same manner it is reaching the customer otherwise again the problem of reverse logistics will happen bull whip effect will happen if customer is not happy with the product customer will return the product to the company so the cost of the company will start increasing third one is right customers uh, sorry right condition so the product should be delivered in right condition now you must have seen there are uh, perishable goods and there are durable goods we know perishable goods include all your uh, fruits and vegetables meat products dairy products and flowers so these products should be packed in such a way that they are reaching the customer in the same condition so if you are delivering anything in uh, say for example a frozen dessert that is an ice cream so you have to use a cold storage container to deliver the product to the customer so that the uh, ice cream is not getting melted and the product is reaching in the same condition to the customer same thing with your meat products because perishable they should not get spoiled it should reach in the same condition to the customer otherwise again as we discussed the reverse logistics bull whip effect all these things will come up where there will be more loss for the company next is right place now whatever address the customer is giving the company has to cross check or verify the address with the customer before delivering the product to the customer otherwise customer is ordering and the product is going to some other customer again the cost will go up because maximum money is going in the product where it is handled that is from the company till it is delivered to the customer if the customer is not accepting or if the product is going to the wrong customer the customer will return the product to the company so again it will have an impact on the cost and as we discussed it will again have an impact on the bottom line of the company that is the profit will get impacted that is your right place next is right time now here the concept is of lead time lead time is nothing but the time gap between placing an order and receiving an order when you we go to mcdonalds when we are ordering anything like a burger or fries or an happy meal we are expecting that the product should be delivered as quickly or as early as possible so maybe a, a minute or two minutes is more if the time gap is increasing then customer dissatisfaction level will also start increasing no one wants to wait for more time so we the company has to deliver the product either on time or before time otherwise it will have an impact on the lead time and lead time will start increasing and customer dissatisfaction will start going up then word of mouth publicity one customer may take 10 more prospective customers from the market again it will have an overall impact on the profitability of the company next is right price we should not overprice to the customer for any product or we should not even underprice 
if over price is there definitely customer will not buy customer will go to our competitor and if the price is very less then customer will have a doubt that the quality is not good that's why the company is selling it for low price so these two things again the company has to balance and the price has to be right not more not less it has to be perfect price then only customer will buy and finally last rights of the customer service is right customer again you have to select the customer now sometimes many customers they return the product without actually seeing that the product is right or wrong so these customers should be blacklisted by the company because they are increasing the cost of the company second thing you should know the market very well as a seller you cannot sell same product everywhere because customers are different you cannot sell for example woolen clothes in hot areas there there will be no customer so woolen clothes can be sold only in cold areas so there only you will be getting right customer so these things have to be kept in mind before designing the product the price quantity everything and then only the company should go to the market for selling the product uh, the last topic is strategies to improve customer service that is customer service strategy now the first one is customer service vision we all know that customer is continuously changing so this customer service vision is first thing which has to be communicated to the employees that is the internal people they should know how to handle the customer ultimately the people who are working in the organization they are handling people who are outside the organization so it is nothing but people versus people so people should know that is internal employees should know what are the what are the company's expectations from them while they are handling the customer because customer when it goes to any store or any place they will look at the company they will not look at the person if i go to mcdonalds if i am not happy with the service i am not going to blame the person who is giving the service i am going to blame the company that is mcdonalds so vision should be very clear clearly defined then assessment of customer needs customer needs are continuously changing 10 years back customer was different now the customer is different 10 years down the line again customer will be different the needs are changing taste and preferences of the customers are continuously changing so we should keep all these things in mind and keep designing or improving or innovating the existing product and selling it in a new package to the customer third is hiring right right employees right employees now right employees are the people 